so much. We're gonna splurge because I've been so into makeup. It's such a good way to get like your greens and fruits in. Ooh, I really like that. And it's actually like gotten tough. Hello, you guys. So I've been sick for the past several days, but I'm better now. I just have like a slight lingering cough. But other than that, I feel good. I'm better. Uh, but anyways, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I've been wanting to get an iPad mini for a while now because there's just like a lot that you can do with it. Like I can plan my videos, I can make a planner out of it, I can use it to watch like Netflix when I'm on set so I don't need to use my phone. Um, and it just basically, it's kind of like a portable like laptop. So I got the iPad mini and I got the pencil and I got this for myself like kind of as a Christmas gift because honestly, why not? I had to search so far and wide for this. This was like the only, this was the last iPad mini or iPad in general because they were all sold out because of Christmas that I can find in the lower mainland like around my area. We had to drive like 45 minutes just to get this one but I'm not even kidding you it sold out at every single store and I snatched the last one up here because I saw it was there was one left available online so I like snatched it right away and then I just came to pick it up now but I'm so excited especially to use this like as a planner and everything and yeah, I'm so excited. The Apple Pencil is also $30 off, so got a little bit of a sale. But yeah, so Merry Christmas to me. So excited. And I knew that I was going to eventually buy this. Like, I'd, I've been wanting it for a long time. And I was like, you know what? Like, I could procrastinate this and wait to get it. Or since I'm already, I know that I'm already, like, I know that I'm going to get it eventually. So may as well just get it now. Because I'm going to spend the money eventually. So may as well just do it now so that I have it earlier than waiting, you know? why procrastinate anyways so excited about this you guys i just like washed my face i got my retainer in right now so sorry if this is like a really weird list i have because i try and wear my <clears throat> retainer every single night and i still have this like kind of small list that still comes with it like i never got over the list it's just gonna be with me every single time i wear my retainer so excuse me because i literally just did the whole shebang getting ready for bed but I couldn't wait because my mom came home and a package arrived for me and I needed to show you guys the haul right away because I like was waiting to open it and I'm like okay I could wait for tomorrow but like I'm just gonna be too excited to sleep because I'm gonna want to open it because getting packages is just <coughs> sorry I'm literally I still have that lingering cloth getting packages is literally like so exciting and fun and i wanted to unbox this with you guys so i ordered off of sephora and i usually honestly don't really splurge at sephora much just because it is quite expensive but i was feeling like treating myself i was like you know what we're gonna splurge because i've been so into makeup lately like i don't know what it is but i've just been obsessed with makeup lately and i feel like a lot of people have as well like it's not just me it's everybody accumulatively i feel like everyone has just been like collectively sorry i'm just like is the camera fixing everyone i feel like i've just been collectively obsessed with makeup and sephora you just it hits different you just i don't know there's something about it and i just really wanted to try out some new makeup products i did get some glossy products um for christmas and i'm in love with them i will show you guys tomorrow but i'm in love with them and now i'm i just want to try so many other things because Sephora has just, I don't know, I never used to shop at Sephora because I was like, you know what, I can get like drugs, things from the drugstore and it's way cheaper and, you know, it's whatever. But it's like, you know what, I'm 21. I can treat myself to the more luxury makeup. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I think I got like five, four or five items. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night. And I'm so excited to try this. Apparently, this, like, keeps your makeup on all day, even under the mask. And I have never used a setting spray in my life before. Like, I've never owned any brand of a setting spray. I don't think I have. Maybe, like, maybe I got one from the drugstore, like, a long time ago, but I didn't like it and then I never used it. But I've never really worn setting spray for more than like a day maybe one day in my life i wore it, but that's it so i'm really excited to try a setting spray because whenever i wear my mask it takes off my makeup so i really hope this works and apparently the charlotte tilbury one it like makes the makeup like stick when though you're wearing a mask all day 
I got the smaller size one because they were sold out of the bigger one, but if I like it, then I'm going to purchase the bigger one, and their packaging is just so cute. So, I got that, and then on the subject of Charlotte Tilbury, I may or may not have got the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder, and... I'm so excited about this because I haven't been wearing setting powder recently just because I don't really have the one that I like. I used to like a long time ago use like the Laura Mercier one and I liked it but then I just ran out and never repurchased the setting spray. So, I mean, uh, powder, setting powder. So I'm so excited. Oh my god, apparently this is like the best setting powder of all time and I'm so excited to try it out, like see how it works for me. Apparently this just like flawlessly smooths out your skin. So I'm so excited. I got it in the lightest shade. Because I'm pretty sure it has like three or four shades. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. Literally, people have raved about this shit. Then I got two things from Rare Beauty. I got the liquid um, brightening concealer. I got this in the shade 30, 130N. I've been looking for like a new, a new concealer. Because the one that I have is like my skin tone. It's not lighter than my skin tone so i've been needing like a concealer that brightens like my under eyes just to give that little bit of you know brightening highlighting effect apparently this one is good for like drier skin and it doesn't like crease or anything package is just really simplistic which i really like and yeah it does look like a good shade it's kind of like sketchy picking on, picking out your shade online but this looks good i think so we'll try it out tomorrow i'm so excited trying out new makeup is just so exciting and then the next thing that I got from Rare Beauty is I got their liquid blush and I'm so excited about this. I have been not only obsessed with makeup but obsessed with specifically blush and I don't know I just don't know how I never used to wear blush. Like I almost like I didn't want to wear blush in the past. I'm like ew why would I wear blush but now I'm like obsessed. Literally obsessed. I just got new ones from Glossier and I'm obsessed with those too. Just like I can't do my makeup without blush anymore. Like it's, it can't happen. So I got the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Bliss, and this looks like such a beautiful color. Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, that looks so pretty. Okay, well, we're gonna try this out tomorrow, too. And then the last thing that I got is the Makeup by Mario Contour Stick, because I'm running out of my drugstore... <coughs> sorry, <coughs> cream contour that I use. It, or cream bronzer, I don't really use any powdered face products as of right now. So I, people have been like saying how Makeup by Mario is, has like a really good brand. So I was like, you know what? I bought some stuff from Rare Beauty. I bought some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. So why not try out like Makeup by Mario just to, you know, change things up. Oh, this is big. This is bigger than I thought. It comes with a brush. I forgot about that. A brush on one side. And then the stick on the other side. That's cute. But Okay. This actually looks like a good shade for my fair skin tone right now. So we're going to try this out tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This packaging is just so elite. Like the black, I love it. And that is all that I got from them. And then I just got like this little um, kit that it just came free. It's like a whole bunch of samples in here. So yeah, nothing too exciting. Oh, Anastasia Brow is. Little sample size. Cute little fun products. Oh, I love it. Little hair products. This is actually a lot of stuff. Wow. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, I just got a couple little more samples in there. But that is all that I ordered. And tomorrow, um, or the next day, I'm not sure when I'm going to do my makeup next. But whenever I do my makeup next, I am going to um, try out the products. And we're going to assess them together because I love makeup. And TikTok, I think it's honestly TikTok that has been influencing everybody to be obsessed with makeup recently. Because... There's like a lot of TikTok viral like makeup products that are sold out because of TikTok and I feel like that's like that's definitely like subconsciously like made me want to buy makeup. So anyways, I'm so excited to use all of this. I'm gonna relax and go to bed now, but I will see you guys whenever I do my makeup or pick up the camera next. Good night. It snowed so much last night. The weather called for like a snowstorm warning or whatever. And it actually snowed so much. Like, it literally looks like a snow globe outside. Like, the sky is so white that it just makes everything look like a damn snow globe. It's so beautiful. But this is not going to last long because it's going to start to rain. So, yeah. Anyways, it's so beautiful. Let me know if you guys got snow around Christmas because I'm just so happy that we did. Like, wow. I love the snow. It's beautiful. But it gets old fast, meaning, like, I like it, but only for, like, a period of time before, like, 
spring and stuff comes and I just want hot weather. <laughs> So I've been recently having a smoothie every single morning. I started on Monday and I've been doing it this whole week and it's such a good way to get like your greens and fruits in right at the beginning of the day before you eat anything because it like honestly I find it really hard to get like vegetables and fruits in me throughout the day but with the smoothie it like ensures that I have them so that like I just feel better about it and I know that I have some sort of health at least in like one of my meals of the day so I like having this every single morning before I like eat food so I'll have a smoothie with a glass of water and then just have that let it digest for a couple hours and then eat because it just ties me over but it's just like the perfect thing every morning and it makes me feel so healthy so basically what I put in it I kind of mastered my recipe is I put little avocado frozen chunks and this might sound weird but I used to not put avocados in my smoothies and ever since I started putting them it's been a game changer like the texture that the smoothie turns out to be is so creamy with a little bit of avocado like i'm not even kidding you i know it sounds so weird but it changes the texture completely and it makes it so creamy like way creamier than a banana can ever make it so i put those and then i just go ahead and put half a banana and then i put whatever frozen fruit we have in the fridge so today i just put mango and then we have this mix of like berries and stuff so i put that and then that's like my fruit and for my vegetables timmy green sent me this like literally a year ago maybe and I just put this powder in here and it has matcha, spirulina, wheatgrass, and then it has a whole bunch of like vegetables in it. So it has like chlorophyll powder, spirulina powder, um, spinach leaf powder, broccoli, kale, um, broccoli, leaf, parsley, celery. So it has like a whole bunch of good like greens. And it makes me feel like I'm at least getting some greens in for the day. And it has a tiny bit of caffeine to give me like that boost in the morning, which is nice because of the matcha. So I've been loving putting this in my smoothies because it helps me get like the green portion of it. And honestly, if I didn't have this, I would just add spinach. So it's the same thing, like you're getting your greens in. And then I just add a bit of this. This is like a natural sweetener, but it's like this fruit that apparently tastes like maple syrup and it helps sweeten my smoothies. So I put like a couple teaspoons of this inside and that's pretty much it. And then I just add some oat milk and that's it. And I love having this in the morning. I used to not be a smoothie drinker in the morning, but I've been loving it and it makes me feel so healthy. Then I put it in a cute mason jar and then get started for work for the day. So yeah, just thought I'd share. Okay, you guys are literally balancing on a candle right now because I don't know, like I have a little tripod and I have a big tripod and I have no idea where my little tripod went. I've been trying to look for it and we just still don't know. So you're balancing on a candle. So please say a little prayer that we don't fall. Anyways, I'm literally, we're kind of like not snowed in today. Like we might, me and Madison might go to Walmart, but kind of snowed in. Like, I don't know if I want to leave the house. But regardless, I still want to try out the new makeup, so we're just going to do my makeup for fun. I never really do my makeup for no reason. Like, I always do it if I'm going to go out, but not if I'm going to stay home, because, like, what's the point? But I really wanted to try out these products for you guys, so you can see how they are, because I'm, I'm just, like, so excited to try them. So why not do a little test trial at home? Also, my beauty blender is, like, really disgusting. It's, like, I tried to clean it. And I soaked it in like, I don't know, it was like this medley that I looked up online that you can soak the beauty blender in to like clean it. And it's still like nasty, but I did clean it. So it's cleaner than it was, but I still want to get a new one because I've had this for a while. And Madison just got a sty and it gets like getting pretty bad. And she thinks it's from her like old makeup products and her old beauty blender. So if you guys have had like an old mascara or whatever or beauty blender or don't clean your brushes, reminder to do so so you don't get little styes and just like bad infections because that's not fun okay so we're gonna start off with let me just get some product i'm so excited especially to try the palette tilbury powder oh my goodness this is just like christmas again okay we're gonna try the concealer from rare beauty first i have really high hopes for everything so but the good thing about Sephora is that the return policy is amazing. So if you don't like something, they'll literally take it back after you used it. Which is actually one thing that's really good about them, even though their stuff is really expensive. So these are the, just kind of the areas that I wanted to use a lighter concealer for. Because this is like brightening, you know, the under eyes. So I'm just going to be doing a light makeup look. I just want to try these products and so not do anything like crazy. Ha. I'm going to just blend this out. Sorry, you guys are like not in front of the mirror. So I'm like, my head's over here. Oh, that actually blends in really nicely. Like, it just, like, blends in seamlessly. Like, you know some concealers, it's, like, 
it's harder to blend them in there. They're thicker. I like this one actually. It's not too like thick. It's not too high coverage. It says a moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into the skin. Cake free coverage. Yes, it does melt seamlessly into the skin. 10 out of 10. I really like that. And the shade is perfect. I'm <clears throat> sorry. I still have that lingering cough that like comes up every once in a while when I try to talk. But this shade is actually really nice and I really like it. I like how it's not too high coverage because I was debating between getting this one and the Tarte Shape Tape. But I know that the, the Tarte Shape Tape is really high coverage and I don't know if I want that in a concealer. Like I just kind of want a lighter to med like a medium coverage. I don't want like a full coverage concealer. Especially since it's just going like under my eyes for that brightening effect. I really like this. And also the packaging is like really just simple and cute. Okay. Uh, Make It by Mario Contour Stick is up. I got this in the shade light. By the way, I'll have all these products linked down below if you guys want to buy them. It has like a stipple, as you can see, and apparently that helps like blend it out better. So, okay. First impressions, love the shade. Shade I think is perfect. And yeah, if I went any darker than that for my skin tone right now, I don't think that would be good. I don't know how I feel about the brush. It's very dense. I don't know because I usually use this brush going in to blend my contour. This is an e.l.f. one. And I kind of like this one better. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to it or not. Okay, first impression. I really like it. It blends very nicely into the skin and the color is like perfect. And also, if I was doing like a heavier makeup look, I feel like I would do another coat of it. But this is fine for what I'm doing right now. Just like this brush better i don't know if it's just because like i'm used to this brush yeah i like this brush better but the product itself is a 10 out of 10 i really like it it's really cute too and it's a lot bigger than i expected like there's a lot more product in here than i thought okay now we're going in with the rare beauty blush i'm so excited i also got glossy blush for christmas and i'll show you guys how that looks in another video because i'm in love with that blush so i'll show you guys that in an upcoming video apparently this dries really fast so I'm getting a brush out ready because I like blending. This is like my little blush brush that I use. And apparently this is like super pigment pigmented so we're not going to go strong. Okay. I just put on three little tiny dots just because I know that this shit is really pig pigmented and I'm just going to blend it in. Oh, I really like that. It blended honestly. Blended, blends in seamlessly. Like it, that's it. Just like melt into the skin. That is so pretty. Oh my god. I'm in love! Selena Gomez, you really did a good job. You guys have not like used blush. If you don't use blush in your makeup routine, you need to change that right now. Like, I'm not kidding you, blush changed my life. Like, I know that sounds dramatic, but it literally changed the make makeup game for me. Like, I can't go without it now. I love it so much. That is so pretty, and you honestly don't need a lot for it to like be prominent because it's so pigmented. That is so pretty, and I'm in love with the shade too. It's just like a light pink. Now we get to try this Charlotte Tilbury powder. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is like what I've been waiting for, to be honest. Okay, I'm done. Okay, we gotta try this. Okay, I'm so excited to see what the hype is all about. Okay, wow. That really does just smooth everything out, and it kind of like blends everything in together. That is really pretty. It just like smooths everything out. Like, wow. Okay, I'm impressed. And apparently it like keeps your makeup in place and everything, which is good because I haven't been using a powder at all to set anything. So now I'm gonna go in with the setting spray. <laughs> I'm like scared to spray. Even though like I'm not gonna have my makeup on for that long today, whenever I wear makeup like for a longer day, I will still update you guys just because today's not really a good day to test the all day thing. I got the Glossier Boy Brow for Christmas in the shade Brown. And I just like to brush up my eyebrows with that. And it's really good. I really like this one. And I also really like the Merit Beauty um, Brow Spoolie as well. In the shade brown too. They're honestly like equal to me. Like I love them equally the same. But this one has looks like it has less product than this one. And I'm pretty sure they're about the same price. So Alright. I don't feel like putting on mascara. Blush and lip liner are two things that I never used to like do for makeup. And now, I can't like live without them. Like I'm not even kidding you. If I don't do my makeup with one of those things, like it does not look good at all. I don't know how I used to do my makeup without either of those things. Like, okay, well here's the final look. This is just like literally concealer, cream contour, brows, blush, setting spray, and 
lip liner and that's pretty much it i'm obsessed with the products sephora just hits different it literally just hits different okay i don't even know if i'm going to walmart anymore so we end up uh, deciding that we're gonna go to Walmart because Madison needs to get a bunch of new makeup this vlog is literally all about makeup I just want to show you guys how funny this looks because I didn't realize like how cropped this jacket was and I went to go put it over my sweatsuit and it just like looks so funny because the hoodie is so much longer than it so I just wanted to come on here and show you how funny it looks kind of looks like a little marshmallow but I think I'm just gonna go no jacket because even though it's like snowy, it's not like that cold and we're just walking in and out of the store. So it's not that big of a deal. So definitely Jack needs to go, but I need to go um, scrape off the cars because they are snowy. Okay, I know the lighting is so shit right now, but it's because I have my starlight on and I've been just so obsessed with turning it on and setting the vibes for the night. Like I hop in bed. I turn my starlight on and I just chill and watch Love Island. I have been so into Love Island. I just got a subscription to Hey You, H A Y U. It's literally only like $6 a month. Canadian, so it's probably like four US. I don't know, it's so cheap. But they have Love Island on it. And I'm watching like the original, like UK version. I did not know there was 50 episodes in one season. Like, I thought it was like a joke because I first, when I wanted to watch it, I was just looking at it on like an illegal like streaming site or whatever and I saw on there that I had 50 episodes and I was like, okay, this is like wrong, like this is like messed up. So then I got the subscription to Hey You because I realized that I was on there and I'm like, oh, holy shit, no, like Love Island actually has 50 episodes each season and it's actually like got me hooked and I really like, I really love The Bachelor but honestly i like this more than the bachelor because it's like more organic like it's like kind of like the bachelor in paradise if you guys know what that is but like on steroids like i don't know it's just so entertaining to me but you'd only like it if you like dating shows and reality tv but i don't know i really like it i've been actually really at it i'm on episode 19 oops what did i do oh and you can also download can download stuff like you can on netflix you can watch it without wi-fi 58 episodes that is literally crazy i thought there's just 50 oh my goodness this is like i never don't think i've ever seen any sort of season slash series with 58 episodes in one season that is crazy but anyways like my room is such a vibe right now i'm obsessed i stopped using my projector like the star thing for a long time because I kind of just forgot about it and I lost like the core to it and then I recently like found it and then now I started using it again and I forgot how like vibey it is like it just like now I look forward to just getting into bed at night putting that on maybe lighting a candle and planning my day like my next day taking off some boxes whatever like just like um, wrapping up for the night preparing for the next day so calming I 10 out of 10 would suggest getting one of these just literally look it up on amazon it's like 40 50 bucks or whatever and it's so worth it i really want to also get one of those like sunset lights where it projects like orange circle or whatever those seem really cool too so i don't know i've just been vibing with lights and it's just so calming so if you guys don't have one already get on it because they're worth the hype you can also like change the colors which is really cool but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here when we went to walmart by the way madison just ended up getting a couple drugstore makeup items and it was nothing exciting so i didn't pull the camera out love you guys thank you so much for watching peace out